What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at some Town Hall 14 content. Um, my first video showcasing some of these attacks at the new Town Hall level, um, and I'm glad to be back with the video. It's been a little while, but let's get right into it, guys. There's a lot to talk about, a lot of interesting stuff going on uh, at this new Town Hall level. Gotta say, I love the theme. Uh, it's this like jungle kind of green uh, theme is I think is pretty cool. Um, you can see the the new feature the uh, the builder huts that act as defenses um, Interesting stuff and in this case used the uh, this the Yeti bomb in the uh, blimp to take out the town hall So the builders builders didn't really have a chance to rebuild anything there But we also got the pets going on here. We got the pony following the queen, which is pretty cool. We're gonna see the Electro Owl here with the Warden, and also the Mighty Yak making an appearance with the Royal Champion later in this attack. So the pets are very interesting. Um, it's uh, a new dimension to the game. How do you pair uh, these kind of sidekicks with your heroes? Something to think about. Um, this eagle, it, it almost looks like it's being uh, uh, upgraded. It looks like there's like a little builder uh, rope around it when you first glance at it but um it's kind of cool design in this case the bat spell was used um along with the dragons i've been seeing dragons e-dragons a lot of that air type stuff working at town hall 14 just in these early attacks obviously you know everything is still very uh, early on defenses are not fully upgraded all that good stuff but um i i think it's you know it, it's notable that uh, we're seeing a lot of air attacks working at Town Hall 14 right now. Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward here. Uh, you can see the uh, Royal Champion still up. Level 30, that's a brutal Royal Champion. She does a lot of damage to defenses. Definitely a powerful tool. Um, go ahead and take a look at some more of these replays. We'll look at uh, one attack on our side as well here. Um, but wanted to show a hybrid. Uh, this base obviously a little bit lower level, not upgraded to a lot of the Town Hall 14 um, defenses and whatnot, um, but still kind of cool to watch uh, the uh, the pets and everything like that, how that interfaces. Um, I think that you know one my only complaint is that it's going to take so long to upgrade your pets. It looks like because I think you can only do like one at a time, and uh, I have an account I've been farming up to try to get it to be maxed out, and it's just gonna take so long to do this without spending a ton of money. So, uh, that's kind of my only complaint, but I think it was kind of a cool addition to the game. We'll have to see how balanced it is, though, uh, because I worry that, you know, offense is gonna be too powerful uh, once again, and also this is gonna make it uh, less balanced at Town Hall 11. Well, Town Hall 11 was already pretty far gone, but Town Hall 12 as well. Um, even Town Hall 13 are going to kind of shift down in balance, so it really forces people to upgrade or, or have like a lower quality gameplay experience in some cases. Anyway though, this hybrid was pretty cool. Um, just a nice uh, little queen charge in there, wall breakers opening things up very nicely. Going to go ahead and get the Town Hall taken out. Whenever you see like dead space in the base, it's a great, great place to do a queen charge because you're not going to have as many defenses that are going to mess up her pathing. It's easier to predict. Not a lot of defenses that she has to worry about on the flank as she walks along the outer compartments here. Nothing's going to target the healers for the most part. Um, and it breaks the base off very nicely into chunks um, that the uh, hybrid can kind of take out the other piece of it. King actually gets in there and I think almost gets that eagle taken out, which is pretty nice. The queen ends up going through a wall, but she will eventually get on that town hall and get to work. A uh, nice level 80 queen. That is not something I ever thought I'd see in the game. Um, you know, when Town Hall 10 was like the max Town Hall level when I was up there, uh, you know, level 40 heroes with a thing. Now we're up to level 80, you know, who knows how far we'll go. But um, it's crazy to think all the new levels and everything uh, that have been added over the last uh, half decade, if not more. Anyway, though, uh, typical hybrid stuff here, not a whole lot of, um, of fanciness uh, special to Town Hall 14. Go ahead and fast forward to the end here. Um, as these hogs kind of wrap things up. You can see the new levels on the Warden as well. Um, got all those hero levels at Town Hall 14, um, plus some of those new treats uh, in terms of the pets to, to pair with your heroes. This last attack was really cool um, on their side that I wanted to show. 
using the skeleton spells with the, <laughs> with the dragons and that is a very un, you know unsuspecting combination but I think it worked out pretty well typically we'll see the bat spells being used but I think the skeleton spells um, the skeletons are a little sturdier than the bats they have that extra layer of that shield they carry so they take two hits to be taken out and we're talking about like a single inferno tower uh, Grand Warden, Air Defense, well I guess the Air Defense isn't going to target Skeletons, but a lot of defenses are not very efficient in how they target uh, units. So you can kind of catch them sleeping by putting down some Skeleton spells, really distracting everything. You see this uh, Inferno Tower already starting to try to take out these Skeletons one by one. Very inefficient. Scattershot I think might also target a Skeleton or two here and there. Um, so it's, it's interesting, it, it, it kind of takes the fire off the Dragons and it seemed to work pretty well here, uh, just dropping them kind of here and there as the dragons move along, dropping a few more in front of them, finding the warden's ability uh, to kind of help the uh, um, the blimp get all the way to the town hall. Nice rage. Looks like there was some yetis in there that'll get the job done. Um, Queen actually is in the base as well here, helping out. Uh, so everything went pretty well. Nice freeze on the defensive queen. One more skeleton spell still to go. And of course the Royal Champion coming in to kind of clean things up. In this case only two pets were used. It looks like the Pony and Lassie, that like P.E.K.K.A looking thing. So uh, I think they both went down by now. But uh, oh no, the Pony's still alive. I think following the Royal Champion it looks like. That's pretty cool. Um, and actually has quite a bit of healing. Uh, even at level 1, you know, it's definitely like, you know, I think close to a healer if not more. So... Pretty cool stuff. We will fast forward, take a look at one more attack here. Um, but first, want to hop over and uh, show the results of that viewer poll presented by my creator code Bisectatron. Guys, be sure to enter Bisect in the settings tab of your game. Support my channel. It really, I really appreciate it and uh, definitely helps me out. So be sure to enter that creator code as soon as you uh, finish up with this video. But let's take a look at those results I posted a few days back. What's your Town Hall 14 status? Looks like a little more than a third of you were already at Town Hall 14, um, which I was surprised about because you know this is only like a week after it had been out. 2% um, or like me upgrading to Town Hall 14. Um, so I guess not a lot of people are in my boat. And then uh, in terms of people that will be at Town Hall 14 soon, very few. Uh, the more than half are not going to be a, a Town Hall 14 for a long time, which makes sense. Um, I think that uh, if you're not, you know, close to max 13, it takes a long time to upgrade at that top level. So, you know, people don't want to rush their account, which makes sense. And, um, you know, don't want to spend a ton of money on gems. But if you do, enter my creator code Bisect. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for filling out that poll. Be sure to you know keep an eye on your feed. I'll be sure to put some more out. It's always interesting to see kind of what you guys' thoughts are on various things. We're wrapping it up here with one more attack. This one, again, coming from the air. Uh, and this one used some, I think, higher level uh, pets here, which is kind of interesting to see. And also you can see the uh, blizzard attack, the super wizards and the uh, uh, invisibility spell got stuck in that tornado but the invisibilities lasted long enough to kind of keep them going get that town hall taken down and then uh, gonna get to work on some of these other defenses before they go down uh, so pretty good value there a lot near the town hall obviously um, that was able to get taken out ahead of time and then from here uh, going to start with a nice little uh, sui hero action Gotta love the pony on the king there, just kind of keeping him up as these defenses shoot so it doesn't take any damage pretty much. Um, I think the pony is kind of a cool troop to use uh, when you're just going to have a, a troop, one of your heroes taking like a little bit of damage, it can just kind of offset that damage. And if there's periods of time, if they're walking around, they're not going to take any damage, can get them all the way back to full health. Um, anyway though, the uh, everything moving through the... Uh, uh, what's that called? The the yak opening things up there. I think it does pretty well against the walls. Doing some nice tanking, very tanky. Uh, the lassie, which is a very quick troop, I think works well with the uh, royal champion. They're both pretty speedy, getting along to these defenses. Um, looks like the uh, it's interesting the the AI on, on some of these pets. Uh, it doesn't necessarily target the defenses like the 
um, like the Royal Champion does, but it'll target buildings uh, near where she's at, so it kind of follows her, kind of like a pet, you know, would. So I guess the, the name makes sense. Um, I think it was a nice use of all the pets, though, in this attack here. And the Electro Owl hanging out there with the Grand Warden, as is pretty common, uh, keeping those air troops together. And, uh, you know, it does some nice damage uh, as it follows him around. Nice little Lala, though. Balloons are going to crush this base pretty much in these last few hastes. Uh, just a wizard tower and an expo left up. You can see, I believe that's a new minion level, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, added that to the top town hall level. And, uh, yeah, there's a nice use of the uh, Ice Hound as well, a super troop. Uh, there's a ton of options at Clash of Plans right now in terms of attacking. So I'm optimistic. And look at those new archers, by the way. Pretty cool, too. They have that, like, green helmet on. Uh, very cool stuff, but I'm optimistic if if the game can stay balanced at this top town hall level uh, It'll be definitely be very cool because there's so many different options of things you can use uh, But we'll have to wait and see I'm looking forward to seeing some competitive clash at, at th14 But that'll do it for this video Let me know what you want to see on this channel going forward if you want me to keep covering town hall 14 uh, Do some base building, you know be interested to get your feedback. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.